already feel it. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley. And this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my nighttime spliffs. You know, you about to do Bird Club. About to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Tonight's theory revolves around the Excalibur. Some things are the stuff of legend. Yeti, Cobra, or your couch. For the cannabis connoisseur and conspiracy theorists alike, one legend towers above the rest like a massive plume of skunky smoke. The Excalibur strain. This mythic weed isn't just any high grade bud. It's rumored to be the ultimate holy smokes of herb. A strain so potent it demands worthiness from anyone who dares to toke. Only the chosen, the brave, wise, and deeply chilled souls can handle the full effects of Excalibur without melting into a puddle of paranoia. Today, my friends, we embark on a journey through hazy history, shadowy secret societies, and a few Arthurian riddles to keep it interesting. So prepare yourself for a night, pun intended, to remember. Our story kicks off way back in the Dark Ages, when swords were sharp, castles were drafty, and wizards apparently doubled as the medieval version of master growers. Now you probably know the basics. Merlin, a legendary wizard with a beard as long as his magical resume, pulls Arthur from obscurity, hands him a shiny sword, and boom, a king is born. But what if there was more to it? What if Merlin's real gift to Arthur wasn't just a sword, but a strain of herb so powerful it could reveal hidden truths? Enter the Excalibur strain, allegedly created by Merlin himself. Some say he combined herbs with his magical stash, concocting a strain so potent it could show Arthur the truths of the realm, or maybe just give him enough courage to wear a crown in public. One tote of Excalibur, Arthur went from humble squire to king with clarity and maybe some really, really high hopes for Camelot. But here's the kicker. If you're not worthy, Excalibur doesn't give you visions of epic quests. It sends you spiraling into a fear trip straight out of Monty Python. Here's a riddle. A squire's life was meant for me to a fateful pool chance destiny. A hidden king in humble guise who pulled the blade and claimed the prize? Who am I? What exactly does it mean to be worthy? In the legend, the Excalibur strain is so much more than mere weed. It's practically sentient, testing the character of each person who attempts to tote. Think of it as a green thumb sorting hat for stoners. The worthy, or so the story goes, are graced with insight, a sense of inner peace, and the uncanny ability to find hidden snacks in any room. When puffing, they're lifted to a state of zen even a yoga instructor would envy. It's like they've joined a secret society of chill, one where I imagine members wear robes and say things like namaste high. But for those deemed unworthy, Excalibur doesn't hold back. Legend says it sends unworthy puffers into a dimension of paranoia where shadows have eyes, every car outside sounds like a SWAT team, and even your pet goldfish seems up to something. It's a cosmic, karmic smackdown that keeps the truly worthy separate from those who just can't handle the high. Basically, Excalibur is like the bouncer at a very exclusive club, only letting in those with chill vibes and pure intentions. Here's another riddle for you. With feathers of wisdom, I screech and advise. I soar and I see with wide open eyes. Though I'm no man, I'm wise as could be. I'm a clever bird. Can you guess me? Who am I? Now, if the Excalibur strain really exists, why isn't it on the shelves of your local dispensary? Right between Purple Haze and Alchemist OG. There's the rub. Conspiracy theories, uh, theory, 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 words. Conspiracy theorists believe Excalibur is hidden away, squirreled out of reach by shadowy organizations like the Illuminati, Area 51 scientists, or as they like to call themselves, the knights who say nay, no Excalibur for you. These theorists claim Excalibur could enlighten the masses, but in a way, that might lead to social breakdown. 
Imagine it, people realizing the futility of a nine to five job, questioning the origins of pineapples on pizza, and maybe even giving up cable TV. The horror. So if Excalibur is real, where is it stashed? Allegedly, it's in some hidden vault, locked up tighter than Excalibur's own myth. It's a secret stash that only the highest of high society can access. Rumor has it that if you ever catch wind of it, it'll be a party so exclusive that even your coolest friend can't get in. Think Royal Banquet meets Private Club meets Dungeons and Dragons. Every guest a potential worthy knight, every tote a test of courage. They don't call it a quest for nothing. Riddle time. I'm stern and gruff with a frown on my face. The head of the house keeping all in their place. A knight without kingdom ruling over small land. I raise the future king with my own hand. The high like. If you're lucky enough or worthy enough to try Excalibur. They say it's the grail of an experience. For the worthy, the effects include pure euphoria, a sense of inner clarity, and a realization that you secretly wanted to learn the ukulele. Imagine feeling as chill as a cucumber at the North Pole. With just enough enlightenment to understand why cats knock things off table. Some even say Excalibur opens your third eye. But let's be honest, that's probably just the effect of realizing you've been wearing three pair of glasses. For the worthy though, it's a very different story. Instead of inner peace, Excalibur delivers a buffet of bad trips. Imagine thinking every creek is a ghost, every shadow a spy, every text message from your mom coded warning from the feds. Legend says the unworthy even experience synthesia, hearing colors and taste and sound. That doesn't make you think your life choices i don't know what will essentially excalibur's effect for the unworthy or the ultimate medieval smackdown a divine decree from the cannabis god saying not today peasant here's another riddle for you silent i stood through winter and sun a throne for a blade for only one i waited for hands worthy and true to release me from stone and begin anew what am I? At the end of the day, whether the Excalibur strain is real or just a legend stoked up by particularly enthusiastic stoners, it's one heck of a story. Somewhere out there, perhaps buried deep in an underground vault or hidden by the night's chill in a castle long forgotten, the Excalibur strain awaits. For now, though, maybe it's enough to dream. Because if there's one thing we know about legends, it's that they always leave us wanting more. More adventure more mystery, and in this case, just maybe a few more puffs of the good stuff. Until the day Excalibur makes its way to a dispensary near you, keep your rolling papers handy and your couch thrown comfortable. After all, the legend of Excalibur lives on as long as there are dreamers and stoners willing to search for the ultimate high. The answers to the riddles. Author, Archimedes the Owl, Sir Ector, The Sword and the Stone. I'll see y'all on the next one.